for a third day in a row. The Tin Caps walk off against the West Michigan Whitecaps. It's now a six-game winning streak for Fort Wayne, and we're joined by the guy who had the walk-off fit in the bottom of the ninth inning, Fran Mil Reyes. Fran Mil, this is getting boring for you guys now? No, this is so exciting, even for me. I mean, you know I played here last year, and this is impressive, you know. We played good last year, but this year we're doing awesome. I mean, we're competing all the time, and that's really exciting for the whole team. So you're up there in the bottom of the ninth inning, bases loaded, one out. What are you thinking? I mean, you know, and in, in my third at bat, he strike me out with three sliders in the row, and uh, and then the second at bat when I face him, I hit the uh, base up the middle with was a slider, so I was looking for a slider. I know he come with the two fastball in the in the first two pitches, but I knew he coming with the slider, so I get it. Big homestand for the team, big homestand for you individually. Two RBIs today, so you had 10 RBIs during this homestand. For the team, what has been the key to this success? I mean, you know, like like I tell you, we are competing. We are playing uh, the, the hard we can. We are giving the 100, our 100% because we really want this. Well, Framio, congratulations to you and the rest of the team. Enjoy the day off tomorrow. Thank you very much. Star of the night, Fran Mio Reyes as the Tin Caps walk off again against West Michigan. Not sure you can make it up. Another come from behind walk off win for the Tin Caps over the White Caps here at Parkview Field on a sunny Sunday afternoon. Back with Bobby Pierce, John Nolan, and Coach. Boy, what a series. Excitement. I mean, I'm speechless, really. Uh, three walk offs over the. Uh, the number one team coming into the weekend. Now we take first place and we're up two and a half. It's awesome. And again, Fort Wayne had to do it coming from behind this afternoon. The White Counts got two runs in the top of the first inning. They're not the ideal start for Michael Kelly. There was Michael Gerber with an RBI double, three batters in that made it one to nothing, West Michigan. And the White Counts would get another run still in the top of the first inning with a runner at third, a fly ball hit by Christian Stewart to Franchi Cordero that he dropped, although the drop here did not really cost the tit caps, that would have been a sacrifice fly anyway. But after that, Michael Kelly was fantastic for five innings. Meanwhile, the tit caps got a run back in the bottom of the first inning. There was Franmiel Reyes with an RBI hit, and it wouldn't be his last. Tit caps down two to one at that point. Bottom of the third inning, Reyes had doubled with two outs, and then Trey Santos, the RBI single, to bring us level at two to two. And again, it wasn't only just Michael Kelly today. Aaron Presley, two scoreless out of the bullpen. Jimmy Brostevon struck out the side in order in the ninth inning. And in the bottom of the ninth, Ray Bruguera out of an 0 for 17 slump with a base hit to left field. Then Luis Urias would also single to left field against Trey Tickle, a reliever who had thrown four scoreless innings out of the bullpen for West Michigan. But with those two singles, the Whitecaps would then walk Franchi Cordero. Rudy Hiron struck out, set the stage for Fran Mil Reyes going the opposite way. Yeah, uh, Cord I mean, uh, Fran Mil talked about it. Through sliders, uh, his first at bat that he saw against him, uh, he got a knock off the slider, and he was looking for the slider again, executed, blow, blow open the game, win the game. The maturity of the 21-year-old in his second season with the Tin Caps, Reyes' second walk-off hit against West Michigan this season. He had never had a walk-off hit in his career until this year. And how eight walk-off wins as a team for Fort Wayne, three in a row this weekend. Something we never saw here before at Parkview Field, and a crowd of more than 6,400 got to take it in. Maybe best of all here on this Stand Up to Cancer Day presented by Fifth Third Bank. Today, Tin Caps pitchers struck out 13 West Michigan batters that means $1,300 donated by Fifth Third Bank to stand up to cancer to fund cancer research. Just an all-around great day here. Great day, great weather, great home stand. Hopefully the Tin Cats can take this momentum and keep rolling. Longest winning streak since 2013 in June for the Tin Caps. Tomorrow's a day off, then a six-game road trip with three at Peoria and three at Burlington beginning on Tuesday. Interdivision play in the Midwest League. Catch the coverage on ESPN Radio 1380 and tincaps.com. Well, Bobby, it's going to be tough to top this on the road. Uh, yeah, they are going to savor that and enjoy tonight. Well, for everyone behind the scenes and for Bobby Pierce, John Nolan saying thank you and good afternoon from Parkview Fields. This.
This has been a Tin Caps production.